In the dynamically changing world of web development, the need for structured code and more organized coding practices is a key to success in the long run. One powerful concept that addresses those issues is using template engines. So, in this video on the example of Laravel Blade and WordPress, I will try to explore uh, why a such concept is worth on trying and how it can improve the way you build a WordPress application. If you build WordPress solutions like custom themes or plugins, or maybe you are searching for new challenges, even out outside the WordPress, I insist you to stay up with me and check out the whole video. Blade is simple yet powerful templating engine included in the Laravel framework. It is designed to simplify the way developers create views for web applications, making it easier to manage and display content in a more organized and structured manner. Blade templates are defined in the blade.php file and consist of standard HTML markup boosted with placeholders used for displaying dynamic content, with directives used for extending the layouts and the directives which are some kind of shortcut for the standard PHP control structures. Most of the web applications utilize the same or similar general layout across the various pages, and it would be hard if I had to repeat the entire HTML in the every view I create. Of course, WordPress has some helper functions for reducing those problems, but let's give it a try and check how it can be solved in Blade. So, the general layout of my application consists of typical HTML markup with more clear syntax for displaying the data. However, take a note of the section and yield directives, which can be used for defining slots to fill by the child templates. The section defines a slot that can be overwritten and displayed using show directive. Yield directive defines slot that can be filled with content and structure and display content immediately. I mostly use yield directive because I mostly don't need to have some de default structure set uh, for those slots, but uh, there is a full freedom when it comes to using it. It's up to you how you define the slot and how you uh, will uh, extend them. It is really, really flexible. Okay, so it's time to create the first template in my team, which will be index.blade.php file, which is the equivalent of index.php uh, used by WordPress template hierarchy by default. The structure there will be really simple because I need to display the content results uh, in the main section area and the simple widget with links to external articles in the sidebar of the application. So, in Blade, I just need to extend the base template using extend directive at the beginning of the file. Fill the sidebar slot defined by yield sidebar directive with content using section and end section directive. The engine will render template using general layout and custom structure set in the slot. While working with WordPress, I mostly build more than one template, so let's try to add another one, which will be single.blade.php file, which is equivalent to single.php, used by default by the WordPress hierarchy. The structure there will be also simple, I just need to display the title of the post and the content without sidebar. To achieve the required results, I just need to override the default structure defined with the section content directive and add the title there. When it comes to sidebar, I don't need to do anything because the sidebar slot is empty by default. So how does it currently look like on the frontend? Our homepage loads the index.php file and it looks as following. The main section includes the results of the content function and the sidebar includes the widget with links. When we'll go, we will go to the single post, we will see that it has the title as required and the results from the content field. So it looks that it is already works great. Now it would be great to have some kind of header across the whole application and the best way to do this is to modify the base template located in the base.blade.php file which is already in inherited by other two child templates. So I modified this template and include the header using the include directive. I don't need to specify the full path of the uh, particle that I need to be include. I just rather pass a template name, which is something like the path chain. So, for example, the template located in the resources slash views slash partials slash header dot blade dot php will have 
particles dot header key and the blade will resolve this this key and load the correct template for us. As the last step during the rendered process, the engine compiles blade templates to plain PHP code, caches them and serves them when requested. So the cached results used by the teams looks as follows. Why to use Blade in WordPress application? Blade doesn't restrict you from using PHP code in your templates. In fact, all the Blade templates are compiled into the plain PHP code and they are cached until modified. Which means that the Blade adds essentially zero overhead to your application, which combined with new learning opportunities, because we talk about Laravel, is enough argument to give it a try, at least for me. But if that's not enough for you, let's try to check what WordPress problems it might solve. The first is tackling spaghetti code. Blade forces to think more about separation of concepts concept, which in terms of creating templates reflects the need for separating business logic from visual layer. Developers are encouraged to structure their code in more organized manner. Speaking of simple words, it just helps avoid the spaghetti code, which by the way is one of the most annoying uh, problems in the whole WordPress ecosystem, at least for me. It's not as hard to find the cut to read code uh, without clear structure and with mixed uh, logic layer with presentation. Even in the WordPress core, such separation streamlines the development process and allows different teams to be focused on the different things without interfering and without bothering each other. The front-end uh, developers can be focused on creating perfect user, user interface uh, without struggling with some, some back-end problems, while the back-end developers can uh, be focused on the creating functionality. Both of the teams can work more smooth, so the collaboration in the whole project is much better. The second thing is enhancing code reusability. Blade takes different approach to the template inheritance. Developers can easily define the parent layouts which establish the overall structure of the page using yield or section directives, which indicates where the child template can put their own specific content, their own specific structure. This powerful mechanism allows developers to provide specific content for each page without altering the parent layout's code structure. It it reduces the potential duplication, improves the readability and um, makes the maintenance over a time much more easier. It's like applying the solid principles to the templating. The third thing is readability. Blade stands out for its clear and easy to read syntax. Building on familiar constructs like curly braces and directive tags, Blade templates remain intuitive for both backend and frontend developers. For PHP developers accustomed to writing inline PHP code within uh, HTML, Blades provide refreshing change. Blades lets developers to use double curly braces to uh, echo variables or employ directives or control structures like if, for each and include, making the whole code more legible and maintainable. How to install Blade in WordPress? Some developer probably would say, let's install the plugin and that's all. But if you follow me for more time, you probably know that I don't use such approach by default, especially when it comes to super simple things like this. Also, my mission is to inspire you to learn how does the WordPress exactly works under the hood. So I will implement Blade integration from scratch without plugins with super simple steps. Once created, can be used over all the projects you make. Blade is a part of Laravel framework, but fortunately it can be used as standalone as any other tool. So as a third step, I need to install Illuminate Views component from Laravel using Composer. Now I need to initialize the engine that will take care of compiling Blade templates to the plain PHP code. In the Laravel application it is available out of the box because that's the native system. But here, if we use Blade outside the Laravel context, I need to initialize it manually using the factory object, which as the name suggest produces the output for blade fights. It requires just a few helper objects that look as follow. The first is compiler that takes care of compiling blade templates. It requires a file system object used for various file related operations and a path to the directory where the output files will be stored. So for example for me it will be wp content upload slash cache. The second object is Resolver, which allows to register and resolve multiple template engines with unique names. I can specify which compiler engine should be used for rendering particular view, 
So I register blade uh, by default, but there is no problem with doing it for trick if you prefer this templatic engine. Third object is Finder, which locates templates based on their keys. It requires a file system object and array that contains path, which should be searched for templates. I set it as resource slash views, but you can pass as many paths as you need. It's up to you how many di directories should be searched. The last object is Dispatcher. It is required by the factory, but no specific events are dispatched or listeners attached. It performs the role of placeholder to make the factory possible to create. I do this in the after setup team action and make sure that the object, the factory, is stored in a private property to prevent usage outside its scope. The only way to use the compiler will be just by using the generate and render function, which can be used for rendering output based on the template path or name and the data that should be injected. The template provider is ready, so uh, now I need to make it available in the application. I create a new module called templating, uh, initialize provider there and add render function to reduce the length of the function chains. I initialize this templating module in the application facade and that's all. If you don't get what happens here, I insist you to check out one of my latest videos where I described how I structure my object-oriented approach using singleton design pattern and facade objects. I will post the link to this video in the video description. Now I am able to render blade templates using render function by providing a template path or name and the data that should be injected in the any place I want. If you develop plugins, you can end up here because you probably render views um, manually anyway. But if you develop themes and want to use blade there, an additional step is needed, so check out the next stage of the implementation. The WordPress template hierarchy algorithm reduces the work needed for developing themes in the WordPress by resolving the proper PHP file based on the current view. So for example, if we are on the single post page, uh, if the single.php file is available in the Teams files, the system will load this template. So the template hierarchy just search for the proper PHP files and render them when found. I don't want to break this functionality when using Blade, so I need to integrate both using the resolver class that I will create. I need to inform WordPress that it should search for templates in another location, which is now resources slash views from my team's root, and with another extension, which is blade.php. Those processes are done by hooking some filters to relocate function. Then I need to force WordPress to use blade templates instead of native one using previously created render function. I do this by hooking into template include filter, which provides a path to the template as a parameter. Thanks to the previous step, it already includes blade files, so I just need to use the render function and return the path to the empty index.php file to not change native flow. So for example, this is how does the default and native templates hierarchy looks like before integrating a blade into my system. And that's the state after integrating both. And that's all. The native WordPress templating hierarchy system currently supports writing templates using Blade. So for example, once I create a new template uh, in the template hierarchy in the blade.php file, it will be automatically loaded and used instead of default PHP files. That's all. So to sum everything up, you can see that we need just two, two simple steps to integrate Laravel Blade with WordPress. The first is creating a factory that will take care of creating PHP code based on the Blade template. The second, need, the second step, which is optional but recommended, is informing WordPress that it should use Blade templates instead of PHP files when developing themes. So in conclusion, adopting Laravel Blade into WordPress offers many benefits. From improving the code organization to improving code readability with its clear syntax, and finally um, improving the code reusability through the template inheritance, Blades takes the WordPress development to the new level. Whether you are a backend developer who values code structure and clean code, or frontend developer who values the code reusability with template inheritance, Blade brings something to the table for everyone. 
By embracing this templating engine, uh, you are able to create more dynamic, more collaborative projects, which will have an impact for your success in the long term, in the long run. I used Laravel Blade for many years, and I feel that it was some kind of game changer, not only for me but also for my team. So I totally recommend uh, trying it because I feel that it could improve the whole WordPress experience. And of course, open some uh, new doors for more challenging and more interesting projects, for example in Laravel. For me, uh, it was the first step of getting to know with Laravel and it was pretty simple step. So you can try it and let me know in the comments if it sounds fine also for you. I will be pleased to hear your thoughts. And that's all in this topic, at least for now, from my side. If you enjoyed this video and treat this topic as interesting, please let me know in the comments and remember to thumbs up on this video. It will help me to uh, validate if I'm going in the right direction. If you already not subscribed my channel, please do this now to stay up to date with the latest contents. Also, I insist you to check out my socials because some from time to time I'm posting that uh, there are some useful uh, short information which should be also useful for you. So. Thank you for your time again and see you next time. Bye bye.